Guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Ching, ching, ching. Okay, today I'm going to talk about our new BG MQs. They've just come in. Um, the ship docked the day before yesterday and I'm the first one to actually see and play with them. So to start off, to tell you a little bit about them, if you have fished with the trusted BGs before, the BG MQ is basically a reel on steroids. Take it and add extra strength, cranking power and durability. And then you've got the BG MQ reels. The first thing you're going to notice is the spool design. If you have a look at it carefully, you'll see that the spool has got a camphor around it, which allows the braid or line to come off a lot faster and less resistance, giving you a longer cast. So that's the first thing you're going to notice about this reel. Guys, the second thing you're going to see is the large drive gear. And this basically increases your cranking power, making for a stronger reel. The monocoque design um, basically eliminates the need for screws. It also makes it a lot lighter um, and stronger as far as the alloy body goes. And it also resists corrosion. Very, very important in these new reels. Okay, I've spoken a lot about the reel, now I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is our BGMQ 6000. Just to run through a couple of specs on it quickly. Um, gear ratio on the reel is 5.7 is to 1. In other words, one rotation revolves the spool 5.7 times. Okay, so open it up. Obviously, we got the specs. Um, the design, everything inside it. Okay, very quick, very simple. There we go. A little booklet. Our handle, as you can see, nice, big, strong, comfortable handle. The weight on the reel, like I said, uh, comes in at 430 grams, so it's very, very light, very compact. There we go, guys. Now, just to show you a couple of little features, left and right hand. As you can see, left and right hand. To change it to right hand, it's as simple as unscrewing it over here. We have on the inside, and I don't know if you can see, on the inside there's a little O-ring to prevent any water from coming in once it's tightened. On the left hand side, we've got a seal over here, plastic seal which when changed to right-handed, and I'm just going to show you how easy it is, all you do is take it across, stick it on the right, right-hand side like that, and just use your finger, there. Use your finger, and there we go. So now there's the second water seal. I'm just going to put this back, your dust uh, coat protection. There it is. Tighten that and it prevents any sand or moisture from uh, going inside it. Put the handle on and again it's going to go in and we just turn it ever so slowly. There we go. Tighten up. Rotates. This reel has got six plus one roller bearing. So it's six bearings plus one roller bearing. And again, look at this design of the actual spool. There's the camphor that I'm talking about over there. It's got a big drag knob, easy to get to, easy to tighten, easy to loosen. There we go. So now you've got an extra seal over here. It's a rubber seal that present, uh, prevents any sand or moisture or water or dust from getting into the spool. I'm just going to take the spool off so you can see. So what it does is it actually seats inside there to prevent any dust or moisture from getting inside, guys. That's how we stop the water from getting in there. 
Obviously our drag system is in the inside there and that's what the rest of the spool looks like. Very, very light. Okay. Next, we've obviously got our bale arm, opens and closes. There's a rubber seal over here on the top. If you have a look there, that prevents any water or moisture or dust or sand from going inside it. The reel is extremely smooth and you can feel the cranking power because of that huge gear that's actually inside you, the monocoque gear. This whole body, as you can see, we talk about the monocog uh, design, and that's basically it. It's basically one big gear. There are no screws or side plates, as you can see. Alloy body prevents any corrosion, and bail arm. That is our 6000. I'm just going to put it back together again. It's got a loud, loud ratchet. So when you do get that bite and you hit and you're on, it makes a hell of a noise. So you'll know when you've got a fish on. So that's the 6,000. Let's take it apart and we'll carry on to the 10,000. The 10,000, I'm just gonna grab this one. Just to give you an idea, the 10,000 has a 15 kilo drag. The 6,000 has a 12 kilo drag. That's the size of the 10,000, guys. And again, just to change everything, we're just gonna unscrew the handle here. Okay, so there's the 10,000. Okay, so that's the um, 10,000. And just to give you an idea, the weight on the reel is 630 grams. One of the most popular ones in the entire range is our 14,000 by BGMQ. Exactly the same weight as the 10,000. The only difference between the 10,000 and the 14,000 is the spool diameter, the inside diameter. So let me just grab it out here quickly again. Don't forget coning washers. There we go. Okay, so that is the 14,000 size. It weighs 630 grams, exactly the same as the 10,000. Everything is precisely the same. Monocoque design, everything is perfect. I'm just gonna take the, the two reels quickly and show you again, compare them. Guys, there we go. There's the 10,000, there's the 14,000. The only difference between the two is the diameter of the actual spool, the inside diameter. Okay, that is the only difference between the 10,000 and the 14,000. Like I said, both of them are 15 kilo drag. Both of them weigh 630 grams. Okay, now we've got the BGMQ 18,000 and 20,000. These are the big boys of our range. And for those that do a lot of rock and surf, um, enjoy catching sharks and skates and stuff like that, these are the reels you're looking at. Obviously the ski boaters prefer the 10,000 and the 14,000. Again, more for popping, more for spinning reasons. I'm taking the 20,000 out as well, just so I can compare apples with apples, so you can see the size of both of them together. Here we go, guys, there's the BGMQ 18,000 and the 20,000. The reels are identical as far as body shape, the monobo, uh, monocoque body. The only difference again is the spool diameter on the inside. Okay, that's the only difference here. Uh, weight wise, they are 845 grams. Doesn't matter if it's 18,000 or the 20,000. 5.3 is to one. So it's a little bit slower than the 14,000, the 10,000, and the 6,000, 5.7 is to one. Okay, so they're slightly uh, smaller, but the rotation makes up for it as far as the um, arbor goes. So your line that you get in is a lot faster, although it's a slower gearing. Um, again, they, they are basically 20 kilo drag, on the 18,000, so you've got a phenomenal drag on the 18 and the 20,000 compared to the 14 and the 10, which are 15 kilo drags, and of course, 12 kilo drag on the 6,000. So they really pimped up as far as strength goes. Just to give you a little bit about uh, line capacity or braid capacity, 
If you're using um, braid, 30 pound, the 6,000 will take 300 meters of 30 pound J braid. The 10,000 over here will take um, 400 meters of 40 pound. The 14,000 of 50 pound will take 400 meters. Um, hence the slight difference in the spool diameters. Um, 18,000 will take 60 pound. It will take 400 meters. And of course, because it's got a deeper spool over here, the 20,000, 80 pound, will take 400 meters. That's basically the line difference as far as spool capacities go.